time am a servant of the world and I I was talking on the telephone. Russell Saxby, and uh, I got some, uh, I own a company called Saxby's Auto and Tow, and uh, as usual with my program here, I got some things to show off. So I'm gonna, I got a, I, I bought a new tool specifically for this episode that that I think that we'll talk about, and I uh, I need some water. All right, what we got? Got it here. It's this tool. Now it's not what you might think it is to look at it. You know when I I had some individual show this to me on it, but uh, Harbor Freight and. Uh, And I said, well, that there's a wrench. <laughs> but, uh, turns out I was a fool. And I uh, apologized to the individual for making a fool out of them and out of myself. Anyway, what they tell me this is in actuality here. Get some better light in here. Uh, this is called a calipi, I guess. And the point of this thing here, uh, it's not to, it's not to wrench things per se, but apparently. You use it to weigh things. So we're going to give this a try here. Now, obviously, there's uh, several different things, several different things you'd want to weigh every, every day, I guess. So, I mean, this is like a nice little scale tool that you can, you know, stick down in your back pocket, I guess. Walk around with it back here. You can see it right here. Right here on my hindquarters. For easy access. You know, kind of like having a wall back here. You know, it's easy access, I guess. 
say you, 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 you're walking around in your shop one day and you say, I need to weigh this. I need to weigh this box. I don't have a scale. Oh, wait a second. I have one in my back pocket. Let me weigh this. You know, that sort of thing. I guess that's the sort of thing that they're, they're uh, expecting you to do when they're making money off of this thing. So clearly people are using it. So anyway, we're going to give it a little shot here. So we can see. We can see what this or how this works here. All right, so. One complaint that I do have with this here tool right now is that I don't, once again, once again, I don't know how they expect you to do this exactly. They, they make these, they make these tools and, and you can't. I don't know how that's supposed to help me. If I'm going to need to, in order, I need it to stand up, but it don't, it don't stand up. So what I concocted here is I got a box of spoons. I'm going to be sticking this on in, so so I can do it like that. So. I'll find some measure. Um, I guess this will work. Alright, so what I got right here is a pencil. I figure this is as good a thing to weigh as anything. I mean, everybody's got pencils, don't they? Everybody's Everybody has a need and a want to measure the weight of a pencil. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to measure this here. So you just wait and find out what's about to happen right now. I, th I think this thing is so cool. All right, let's put this in here right there. Like that. There. You can see that it weighs zero point two nine in I don't know what that means but man that is so dang uncool. Let's, let's measure something else. Bender clips. Let's measure those. I can't. Zero point seven nine. Yeah, nine. Zero point seven nine. That's just cool. That's nice. Something interesting I noticed right here. Look at that. Look at that. 1.11. One, one. And, and, and yeah, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. I, I think I think this thing's measuring the air. <laughs> That's that gum cool. I have no idea the air weighed anything. Man. A plastic sack. Let's go and try that. I'm just so curious about this thing. Right, put that. What's the number say? 0 0.01. Man, I think I, I just about 
I got a little more than that. Oh, that's just something. Oh, yeah.